Welcome back to the channel everybody, I'm Dino. And today is a day that I know I've been looking forward to for quite some time. And I think some of you out there have also been looking for. And that's upload day for the 3D printed dash for the DR650. I know this has been a long journey and it's all my fault for not being quicker, I suppose, in learning how to do this. So let's just cut right to the chase. The files for this dash are now currently available on uh, Thingiverse. So I created an account on there uh, for Dino's Tinker Shed. And if you search Dino's Tinker Shed, you're going to find these files. There's three of them on there that you can download and print this dash off for yourself if you want to do that. Now, here's the caveat. This is the first thing I've ever designed in Tinkercad and the first thing I've ever printed off as a 3D part. So I've been testing it, like I said, for a little bit on my motorcycle. And I am in the process right now of printing a final copy for myself that's got a little bit deeper infill. The one that I printed off as a prototype had, I think, 15% infill. The one that I'm going to print off, I'm going to print it 30% infill just to make it a little bit more dense. The other thing is, when you go to Thingiverse and print this off, the instructions aren't very clear. And the reason for that is once this final main dash component is printed off, I'm going to put a video together on how to assemble the thing, how to wire it up the way that I wire it up, and show you what kind of threaded inserts I use, that kind of thing. But you can absolutely print it off and figure it out for yourself. It's really not all that complicated, especially if you've been following the 3D printed dash so far. Now, as I said before, what I'm really hoping for is that there are smarter people out there than myself that will take this as a baseline dash and maybe modify it to function better, maybe look cleaner, that kind of thing. This is free for you to download. All I ask is if you make modifications on this thing and make it better, which I know there are people out there who will do that, please put it back up on Thingiverse and share it for free so that the community benefits from your intellect as well. I've had a lot of fun building this and I've really enjoyed the comments and the feedback on it. And I'm looking forward to seeing this maybe on other motorcycles. I'm not expecting too many of them, obviously. Um, but I hope for someone out there, this is something that you'll try out and maybe you'll like. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping it stands up to the durability tests as it gets put out into circulation. And um, there's not any catastrophic failures out there where your, your dash falls apart. I'm really hoping that that doesn't happen. Just a little bit tidbit, I am printing it in PET G right now. And when I do the final video here, the assembly video, I'll talk about my settings. But each type of PET G filament from different manufacturers is going to have slightly different temperatures and bed temperatures that it's going to need. So um, for me, I'm using Elegoo with a with an Ender 3S3 V3. There's a lot of threes in it. Um, and again, I by no means claim to be any kind of expert when it comes to 3D printing. This is seriously the first thing that I've really printed off. And some people might think it's a little ambitious, but you know what? It's been a fun learning curve. I've learned a lot about it and I can see 3D printing becoming more and more something that I, I find interesting and might get into. And maybe there's other components that I could print for the DR650 that I could share on Thingiverse for the community again. So this isn't a lot, but it's my thanks to all of the support that I've had over the last four or five years with this channel. I've really had mostly good feedback. There's the odd comment that comes in that's kind of off the wall and you know what, that's the internet. And honestly, there's been a lot of really good criticism of some of the things that I've done and I appreciate that. I love good constructive criticism. It helps me learn because you know what, 
No one knows what they don't know. And I've never claimed to be a mechanic or a 3D architect or anything like that. I'm just like you. I'm learning as I go and having fun. And part of this channel is sharing those experiences that I have as I learn. So I'm gonna get back to work here, get this thing printed out for hopefully my final stage on this. And I hope that you enjoy your day. You get out in the shed, maybe print a dash, and remember, tinker easy. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I'll see you next time here on Dino's Tinker Shed. Okay, export sliced plate. Gotta put that into the computer. I'll see you later. Bye for now.